Oh, let's talk to Cassandra. Hey! Will you not consider oh, it, right. Lady Cassandra? The clerics are still sequestered. If no one steps forward, they will debate until... And you think I could make them agree? I've heard enough for one day, Mother Giselle. Talk to her, your worship. I don't want her to be divine. Is there a problem? It seems like she's bothering you. Mother Giselle is kind, and she means well. So, yes, she was. <laughs> I assume you've heard that Leliana and I are both candidates to be the next divine. Because of what happened at Halam Shiral, of course, the Empire favors you. Thus, everyone close to you. So now the Chantry bandies our names about without even asking us first. If you don't want it, then tell them so. Ah, but it's not that simple, is Surely, it? Surely, it was never meant to be like this. The Chantry, the Circle of Magi, the Templars, this cannot be what they intended when it all began. The Chantry should provide faith, hope. Instead, it cannot veer from its course, even in the face of certain death. Many extraordinary things have happened to get us to this point. I'm not so certain. I think it has been a long time coming. Did you know Varric is Andrastian? Oh, he blasphemes with every second breath, but deep down he believes. His heart is virtuous. But he would never step foot in a Chantry. It should be the first place to which the virtuous turn. It needs to change. Perhaps I must be the one to change it. No! No, okay, we'll ask. What would you change about the Chantry? The Circle of Magi has its place, but it needs reform. Let the mages govern themselves with our help. Let the Templars stand not as the jailers of mages, but as protectors of the innocent. Well, that was the original we goal, and it didn't work out. <laughs> but we must also be compassionate to all peoples of Thedas, human or no. That is what I would change. We have more important things to worry about right now. One day we must turn our thoughts to what comes It's after. not a great disapproval, which That's is what you today. get if you uh, do it the other way. I suppose that is true. I suppose I should not be so concerned. The clerics speak my name for now, nothing more. For now, restoring order and stopping Corypheus remain our priority. Let us have a walk and a chat. Okay, also, we need to go visit the gardens for the, like, first time ever. Because we have a new friend. One I need to not forget to go and speak to because I'm good at that. I am good at the forgetting thing. Garden! Yo, Morgan. You know, I thought it was cool she kept her original outfit, but now I see how some people could would say... You know, well, maybe that's what she wore when she was like, I don't know, it was only like maybe 10, 12 years ago. I th I still like it. I think it looks good on her, but I don't know. I could see how maybe like a little bit more like armor to it might make sense. You know what I mean? It is a large fortress, Inquisitor. To think. I don't think she'd be wearing the same thing after 10 years. Credit. Occupied only by the desperate and the lost. Now it is party to events that threaten to shake the world. I wonder if it is pleased. It sounds like you've heard of Skyhold before. This fortress was built upon the remains of a site holy to the ancient elves. They called it Tarar Salan, the place where the sky is kept. It is said that, that was the from name here, of the bow, sort they of, that we saw. up to the heavens to bring them down to rest. They abandoned it, as did the humans who came after them. Bones laid upon bones, silent until your arrival. Hmm. I like this place. I've made it mine. 
The magic in this place has seeped into the stones, protecting it from darkness. Those who let it fall to ruin did not know what they possessed. You, I think, shall do it justice. You were kind I don't think to I welcome do. my aid, Inquisitor, even knowing as little of me as you do. I will do my best to aid your cause I think with her all armor. the knowledge at my it disposal. It changes a bit, this, like the sleeve I swear or something? To you. you swear it? That's rather serious. Some might think Corypheus a madman for seeking godhood. Yet one must ask, what were the old gods? What secrets of theirs I'm did I'm so the interested to see how this is going to go when she has what her son fear, with what her! What all should fear is not that Corypheus believes he can succeed, it is that he actually may. Hi. Hi. I understand you have spared the Grey Wardens from destroying what goodwill was left them. Tis good of you, considering the weakness Corypheus exploited was their own doing. Still, should a true archdemon one day arise, they will no doubt be needed. Or so they would have us believe. You know how it, you know. She knows. Now that you've seen the Inquisition up close, what are your impressions? Tis remarkable what you have built. I will give you that. Leniana has built a network of spies beyond anything Thedas has seen. All this in precious little time, conjured from thin air through the power of fervor alone. I wonder if Corypheus suspected what he was enabling, just as I wonder what will become of all this once he is defeated. I've no idea what will happen once all this is over. Do you not? No doubt there will be countless men and women with suggestions. Beware the heights you reach, Inquisitor. When this is done, many will be eager to knock you back down. What work have you been doing to help us? Currently, my efforts are focused on determining what Corypheus is, and from where his power comes. The elven orb he carries is what draws my attention. I wonder if the power he used to tear open the Fade, in fact, came from the orb. Perhaps it is even the source of your anchor. If I learn of its origin, it I may is. also learn Doesn't, what Corypheus now intends, as well as his weaknesses. I could use your company for my excursions outside Skyhold. I have spent my share of time wandering the wilderness in the company of others, Inquisitor. Thank you for the invitation, but for now I will restrict my efforts to researching the arcane. Okay. Do you know nothing about his dragon? It has the appearance of an archdemon. Of that, I am certain. Uh -huh, a true she would be. archdemon, however, is supposedly the corrupted form of an old god. Has Corypheus actually dug up one of the ancient prisons? If so, why has a new blight not begun? His dragon is something else, something connected to his blighted nature as well as his magic. Beyond that, I cannot say. Is it even possible that Corypheus could succeed? The Black City exists. Wherever one goes in the Fade, it is visible in the sky. The last time Corypheus and his cohort stormed its doors, they unleashed the Blight upon the world. This time, perhaps he might indeed gain untold power, becoming something unto a god. It is also possible he could unleash something far worse than the Blights. So yes, Corypheus could succeed in his goal. If not, his attempt alone could destroy the world. Corypheus says I'm a rival. Does that mean... Could you become a god? That depends. Are you prepared to use your anchor to enter the Black City? No, never. Tell Corypheus that and see if he believes you. However you can help, it's appreciated. Continue prodding at Corypheus, Inquisitor. Elicit a reaction, and we may yet learn from it. I'd like to know more about you. Ah, uh, yes. Whence comes the mystery woman slinking? Unlike her Cassandra and Zolos, who were like, friends. "Why?" She's like, "Ha ha, let me I an apostate, shove it in your face." Well away from the banal influence of the Chantry in the Kakari Wilds. Then came the fifth blight with its dark spawn, and I left Ferelden for the Empress's court. No, there's a lot that happened in between that. The nobles of Orlais breathe a collective sigh of relief that I am now here. 
You were in Ferelden during the Blight. The Blight began in the Kukari Wilds, so yes, I experienced it firsthand. Indeed, I fought at the hero of Ferelden's side for a time. She for a long the time. the Blight was defeated. We did not part on good terms. I, I think a that deal, might be that, talking about the, most of all. the DLC. And after that, I came to Orlais. The last place one would look for me, or such was my hope. The Orlesian court seems like an odd place to find someone like you. That was the point, originally. I knew the Empress was intrigued by the Arcane, and that I could answer questions no Chantry Mage could. Thus, we fit together nicely. I became her advisor, and she my benefactor and source of refuge. The moment Selene perished, my time in court was done. I do not miss it over much. It's odd that an apostate could live so... openly. <laughs> it confuses those who expect apostates to cower and hide. I stand boldly before them and demand to know why I need some Chantry mage to teach me to control my power. They would put me on a leash so they can feel safer at night. I am uninterested in their comfort. Naturally, it helps to have friends in high places. Mm -hmm. I'll leave you to the garden. Until next time, then. Bye bye. Hey, <laughs> bye bye. Good time today. You're one of the faster ones. We all try. Huh. Rubbish Laurel. Rubbish Laurel. Um, should I plant? I'm only missing one. I think that's uh, Arbor. Yeah, I'm missing the Arbor something or other. I think I will be needing Dragonthorn eventually. Minave. I need to have a few words with my publisher. The first one will be you, and the second one will be Bastard. They've claimed for years my crime serials don't sell in Orlay. So why is the Council of Heralds asking me for autographs? Sorry, distracted. Anyway, you need something? Uh, never mind. Carry on. All right, let's go, uh, wait, do we do everyone? Blackwall, Colin. We didn't talk to Josephine. to be in the thick of the game again. The last time I was at Alam Shiral was Countess Letien's wedding. There were a dozen affairs, five secret alliances, and a duel between two chevaliers over the vintage of an Antivan port. But until the Duchess was unmasked, I've never seen the Winter Palace in shock. The nobility needed a shock. Corypheus played them all for fools. I agree completely. I must confess, when Celine was killed, my first reaction wasn't sorrow. It was disappointment. How could the Empress of Orlais be taken in by the Duchess's plot? Ah. Powerful or not, even an Empress can't know everything. No, evidently not. But let's not lose sight of victory. Your actions at the ball have secured us allies and favors alike. I kept dreading I'd drop the wrong spoon or step on a general's foot. Well done. Feuds that spanned ages have sparked over less. Really? Inquisitor never underestimates the enmity of those for whom outrage is a sport. Hmm. We okay. Let's go pick up some some of the. Wait, wait, wait. No, no, no. First, we're gonna go do this. I've been playing this game like all freaking day. Hi, there's my dog to tell me I've been playing this game all day. First, this wasn't my idea. Yep. Halam Shiral is having. Had she been tried, her assets would be forfeit and considerable bureaucracy avoided. So they ask that we judge her. This is supposed to make sense. 
I'm judging a box. <laughs> that was the time allotted for rebuttal. Her crimes negated any claim to... <sighs> Forgive me, there is an order. We really couldn't <clears throat> put it into anything else? Oh, okay, should we do the precedent thing? Strangely enough, something similar so happened was to an uncle of Emperor Leandra II. His trade routes were returned to the reigning monarch. Why don't we just follow suit? A wise choice. Oh, because it's been given Thank to Briala, sort of. Swiftly. Vivian approves because it's to Gaspard, or to back to Orle, and Solus approves because of Briala, maybe. Okay. That was interesting. You know, if they ever make a mod where you can, like, come and, like, hang out with Solus all the time, I think I will do that. Or, like, do, like, the thing that you can do with every other romance in Sound the game. Our next attack. What's oh, the state shoot! Of the Inquisition? Oh, crap! Ambassador Briala has not I don't want it. No! And your actions at Adamant denied Corypheus his army of pet demons. This means I have to do the thing with Morrigan. match his. Corypheus' followers must be panicking. My agents agree. Our victories have shaken his disciples. That's what we want. Demoralized soldiers fall first. Where is Corypheus now? After you dealt with the Duchess, Corypheus uprooted his major strongholds. He's moving south to the Arbor Wilds. His army clearly wasn't prepared to flee. Our victories have them on the defensive. We strike Corypheus now, while his people are reeling. If he's hiding in the Arbor Wilds, that's where we finish him. But what is Corypheus doing in such a remote area? His people have been ransacking elven ruins since Haven. We believe he seeks more. What he hopes to find, however, continues to elude us. Which should surprise no one. Hello. Fortunately, I can assist. You have my attention, Lady Morrigan. What Corypheus seeks in those forgotten woods is as ancient as it is dangerous. Which is? His best, if I show you. Guys, wish me luck. Liliana's like, I am watching you. I forgot that this was this was what happened. It wasn't some sort of table mission this. that we had to wait for is an Illuvian, ah. an elven artifact from a time long before their empire was lost to human greed. I restored this one at great cost, but another lies within the Arbor Wilds. That is, is this what, what having seeks. a kid was supposed to help with or something? This belonged to my people. I found legends of an elven temple within the Arbor Wilds, untouched. It proved too dangerous to approach, and thus I turned elsewhere to find my prize. If Corypheus has turned southward, he could succeed where I failed. The Illuvian would be his. What does it do? A more appropriate question would be, where does it lead? She enjoys this theatrical stuff. Look at this! He's like... Ah, one of his people, one of the few to walk through in the last thousand years to walk through an alluvian. That also takes me back to freaking origins of the Dalish elf origin story. I love those trees. I'm so curious about all of this. Mythal dragon! It's a mythal dragon! If this place once had a name, it has long been long. It's the place of his people, like, she has to be watching him for that sort of a thing, too. There's toppled ruins in the distance. I call it the crossroads. The crossroads. The place where all right. Illuvians join. Wherever they might be. 
This place is extraordinary. How could this even exist? Who can say? Formed from the fabric of time and space, perhaps. The ancient elves left no roads, only ruins hidden in far-flung corners. This is how they traveled between them. As you can see, most of the mirrors are dark, broken, corrupted, or unusable. As for the rest, a few can be opened from this side, but only a few. How did you find out about this place? My travels have led me to many strange destinations, Inquisitor. Once, they led me here. It offered sanctuary. Sanctuary? Not all the mirrors lead back to our world. The ancients were nothing if not resourceful. If they don't lead back to our world, then... Places between, like... This one, I can describe it no better. For a time, I was safe from those who hunted me. But only for a time, one cannot remain in between forever. What do you mean, a few can be opened from this side? Some of the Illuvians have been left unlocked, like doors accidentally left ajar. All others are closed. They can be opened only from beyond. Opened how? With a key. I suppose you have such a key. The key can be many things. Each Alluvian is different. I have knowledge as well as power. Often that is enough. Corypheus wants to come here. This is not the Fade, but it is very close. Someone with enough power could tear down the ancient barriers. And enter the Fade in the flesh, like Corypheus wanted to do with the Anchor. He learned of the Alluvian in the Arbor Wilds as I did. He marshals the last of his forces to reach it. <gasps> that looked like the, the Mirror of Transfiguration back there in the Corypheus background. Desperate, Inquisitor. We must work together to stop him, and soon. I'd want to explore this place, like, all over the place. Like, who knew? See? I mean, like, I think as a human or a Kunari, even, you'd be curious. But, like, this is, like, a place of my people. Like, a pure, almost untouched place. Like, but, like, dead. You know? Like, like cold, but still something, you know? Hmm. It's all very impressive. That stuff, it, it's amazing how much Morgan does not know though, you know what I mean? Technically it should still be open and I should still be able to get in and out of it. Oh, she keeps it in here, right. Okay. In there, all right then. Now what? <laughs> now I go to the war table again because I actually do want to get pick up the missions that are done now. I don't know if anybody says anything about the Alluvians. Eliana might, because you just like ran off with Morrigan and nobody can follow. <laughs> I can't believe, really, that the Inquisitor wouldn't be like, let's go in there and explore, you know? It had to take some very strong persuasion skills for Morrigan to convince me otherwise. And there's Morrigan! We got a corrupting room. Hmm. <laughs> Oh, peerless. I don't know what that does. See, and this was the other reason I decided, because they were taking civilians, you know? So, and it kind of didn't... I was hoping we could save the civilians, so I'm glad it worked out that way. And now I have a perk point. Ah!
No! Yes, to you work. do Cullen. Josephine kills them. And then there's the delicate negotiations one. Whoo! House Amaladares. Oh! All right. Interesting that these, she says blackmail and she says uh, do the information with goodwill or whatever. Crew of ambassadors, claim the Grey Warden cash, aid those impact, oh yeah. The dowager, a dowager threw a pie. Yay. Truth or dare, the end game. Negotiating weapons. Unmask those across the sea. Oh, okay. So, oh, okay, we could do Cullen. No, no, no. Let's do that. Let's see what we have. Red Jenny and the bad goods. Maybe I will do this one, because it takes so long. At your okay. service. We can't have Gaspard making moves at people, at Ferelden. Okay, um, I am very tempted to get the rare stocks or the short list. Oh, what's that? Oh, yeah. Um... There's that too. There's that. But I think I want to start getting. Oh, I do. I do have the second tier abilities. I could get the third tier now. Maybe I'll get some warrior schematics. I don't have too many. Oh, or I could get true grit or master focus or. Um. Oh, this is difficult. Oh, I don't know. I think I'll, I'll, I'll get warriors. I just don't have many. <laughs> there are probably better ones I could get. <laughs> Woo, I have 10 influence. Look at me. What kind of schematics did I get? Yay! Sarah slightly approves of what? Oh, uh, you better give me superior Vanguard armor. Okay. Oh, okay. I was like, if it's just weapons, I'm gonna redo it. But superior Vanguard armor, I can, I can, I can work with that. Okay. I think I'm gonna go talk to Dorian really quick. Wait, no, okay, I'm losing it. I'm losing it. I'm losing it. I'm gonna go talk to Dorian. See if anything's changed. Oh, let's see. Hmm. Hold up, hold up, hold up. Oh, it's still the same. I thought it would change. It's the same. I'm pretty sure. Celine looks the same. It's hard with this in the way. Yeah, it's Celine's dress. I thought it would change. Maybe not. Let's see, we only have one. We only have one more main mission. And then we have the final mission. And then we will no longer have Solus with us. 
Aha! Okay, come on, controller, we've got this. I'm just gonna go talk to our boyfriend. Okay. I should go. Try not to kill anyone without me. I never do. All right, yes, I'm gonna call it here. It's been ages since I've called it. Yay, hopefully everything works. Um, thank you guys for joining me. Let me know what you think about the uh, whole thing in Halamshra. Let me know what you guys did. I'm really curious and like justifications and stuff. My original, my canon one will be where Briala and Celine get back together. You grab the locket and make them love each other again. Or you you show them that they still have feelings for each other. I was surprised that Briella was that sad. I mean, she did love Brio Celine, and it has been constant pain for her. But at the same, and it, but it's been partly because like Celine did the thing she did to the alienage. She imprisoned Briella, and she also did something else that was quite unforgivable. Um, so, but she still loved. Like you can't just change it. Like I mean, hatred is one thing, but she. I think she really truly did love Celine, and Celine did love her. But yeah. It, that was interesting. And we didn't even get a chance to talk to Celine this time. That's weird that they don't give you a chance to talk to her. Like, even if you don't do the locket thing. Like, you would think she would have to talk to you because you're the Inquisitor. So, that was a little bit weird. Maybe I did something wrong. Let me know if I did something wrong. <laughs> but, uh, thank you guys again. I appreciate it. I will see you in the next one.